good morning good afternoon good evening whatever you are watching this know that I appreciate you it is I Jay and I'd like to welcome you to another day in the daily life of Jay I'm sorry I'm rubbing my nose but I feel a sneeze coming on I feel a sneeze coming it is Monday morning, June 8th of 2020, and it is 7.26, wow, I got four minutes, 7.26 in the a.m. The sun is shining ever so brightly on my pretty brown face, and I am grateful. Today starts my new work schedule. Um... I will be working four days a week, 10 hours a day, and off, let me turn that off, um, off uh, one day during the week. So I will be working Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, um, this 10 hours a day, and then off on Wednesdays. I thought that that might be the best thing to do right now. Um, in order to be more present with my husband in the midst of what's going on um, with him. We did have another ER situation. We just had an ER situation a couple of weeks ago, like right before his birthday. We had an ER situation um, and he never did. <laughs> this man sign says, too ugly to prostitute. That is hilarious. If I had a couple spare dollars, I'd give it to him just because he's funny. Um, but we had a an ER situation just before his birthday, and he never really improved. Um, so we ended up back in the ER Friday. And... Oh, goodness, come on. And... Um, So I, we spent half the day in the ER, which means I had to leave work um, early, really early, um, in order to get him to the ER and uh, make sure that he was okay. starting to feel better he's finally starting to feel better like he was up and playful this morning um, early this morning and he didn't realize what time it was so I had to show him what time it was uh, and then he went back to sleep and I went back to sleep we actually both slept I know that I slept for the most part last night I think that he slept for the most part last night as well um, but then again, did I leave him on the couch? I left him on the sofa last night. I didn't want to wake him up because it is difficult for him to sleep. So when he fell asleep on the sofa, I left him there. Um, I left him there because I didn't want to break his sleep. And at some point during the night, he did get in the bed. It was about about 10 30 when I got in the bed um, and he was knocked out so it had to have been close to midnight I think when I realized that he was in the restroom and um, he got in the bed he slept for a few hours and then like I said he was he woke up really playful and I had to show him what time it was and that was about 3, 3.30. Um, I, will, I will watch my speed because I am just, just going. Um, we went back to sleep. I don't know that he really fell completely back into a sleep. Uh, but he was able to at least rest some more. He was able to at least rest some more. So, um, 
and we both slept really well Saturday um, and I slept really well Saturday because I took a muscle relaxer Saturday because we went out earlier Saturday in the during the day I, I haven't even asked you how was your weekend did you have a good weekend I hope that you did I pray that you did um, and I pray that you have an amazing week as well not just an amazing day but an amazing week um, but we did go out Saturday for a little bit and he wanted to get out so we got out we walked around I didn't I wanted to stay home and get some work done um, or get some cleaning done but he wanted to get outside so we went out we were out for a couple hours and my legs and feet kept cramping up on me um, and no amount of water with electrolytes was helping so I took a muscle relaxer um, and when I tell you that I felt like a heroin addict what I assume a heroin addict would feel like I was really very groggy like my eyes I could barely hold my eyes open and then he decided that he wanted to go get a Subway sandwich. And I'm like, dude, I am so sleepy right now. But here's the thing. I had forgotten that I had taken, I had forgotten that I had taken the, uh, I'm really oily. I put a little bit of my moisturizer on. Uh, but I had forgotten that I had taken the muscle relaxer um, after about an hour or so. And then he decided that he wanted to go get a, 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 some sandwiches from Subway. And I'm like, dude, I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm really tired right now. But he insisted. So I'm driving and I could feel myself and nobody get on me. I could feel myself just becoming more and more groggy. And as we're pulling out of the, par the, the parking lot to head back home, I said to him, I feel like I've been taking drugs. I feel like I'm on drugs right now. And as soon as I said that, right after I said that, I was like, oh, I took that freaking muscle relaxer. No wonder I feel like I'm about to fall asleep at the wheel. So I, I got home safely. We got home safely. He could not drive um, at all, but we got home safely. And I didn't even eat. I put my sandwich up and I got in the bed. And I slept for like three hours. And then I got up. Did I even eat any more? Did I eat at all? I don't think I ate at all. I got up for a little bit and no, I did eat. I did eat because he made me eat. I got up and I ate half a sandwich and um, got back in the bed and I slept all the way through to Sunday. So when it was all said and done, um, my Fitbit said that I had slept 10 hours, a total of 10 hours, <sighs> all because I took a muscle relaxer. And now, mind you, the muscle relaxer helped. It did help, uh, tremendously so, it did help. But when I tell you I was super groggy, yeah, super groggy, won't be doing that one again. At all, won't be doing that one again. And that is why I hate taking muscle relaxers. He never understood why I didn't like taking muscle relaxers. He could not figure it out. But I proved to him why I don't like taking muscle relaxers. So that was Saturday and Sunday. We did go out a little bit yesterday as well. He wanted to go out again, and I really didn't. And I told him that first thing in the morning. I didn't want to go outside. But he just insisted and insisted that I find some tops to wear. And I wasn't thinking about no tops. And then we go, and he is looking for stuff for him. So I never did find any tops, but Sears was going out of, out of business in the mall that we were in. So I went and bought some bras and panties. 
that's what I did. All right, I'm here. I need to get inside. Um, like I said, this starts my new schedule. So peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you. We're going to be in the high 90s for the rest of the week, for this week, period. We're going to be in the high 90s. So yeah, it's going to get hot here. All right, have a great one.